Hey there, welcome back Laughter Tribe. My name is Crystal Laughter. I'm a mom of seven, DV survivor, 17 times self-published author. And I'm here to inspire you by helping you heal, learn the lessons and live your best life. Um, so today I wanna talk about the power of acceptance. The power of, of, of acceptance. Many times we live our lives fighting ourselves fighting other people because we're not happy with you know who they are um, the situations that we're in and so we're fighting that and we're living life not at peace but fighting and so what I have come to realize after two DV relationships toxic relationships two uh, failed marriages um, which I don't even want to call it that because I've learned and I love this uh, quote that says nothing is lost when a lesson is when a lesson is learned so yeah you may, may feel like you have lost time that you have to start over that you're too old that you're damaged goods no nothing is lost when a lesson is learned but um the power of acceptance of accepting people who as who they are without feeling like you need to change them without feeling like you have to make them be what you need them to be that you have the power to accept people who they are. I didn't say agree with who they are. Accepting means that you see who they are. You allow them to be the, who they are. And then based on that, you make a decision about, about whether they're good for your life or not, whether they should be in your life or not, and how you want to move in the relationship if you're going to have a relationship with them. And this goes for all relationships, not just romantic relationships. I'm trying to say, see, it's hot in here. Um, just every relationship in your life, you have to, if you want to have peace in relationships, if you want to be happy in your life, and this goes even for yourself, you have to learn where your power is. Your power is not in trying to control people. Your power is not in trying to make people change. Your power is not in trying to love people into loving you, making other people happy. Like, no, like your power is in accepting, being like, that's who you are. Okay either yes or no no I'm not okay with that I'm gonna move on oh that's who you are wow you're a wonderful person you fit with my life we have the same values you know you meet my needs I can meet your, yours it's a mutual relationship yes that's where we're at but if not being able to look even if you spend decades or months whatever it feels like to you and it feels like it's significant that you are able to say I see you not in this, I see you and I hate you, you're horrible. We're all human, we all go through life. It's about being able to see someone for who they are. Whether you think it's good or bad, I see you. And based upon what I see, I will accept it. More not, no, I will accept it. And based upon me accepting it, I will allow you in my life or I will, you know, no longer allow you to be in my life because you're not good for me. And so that's the place I believe we all need to be um, and it's the place of power. Like how, so many people feel disempowered. They feel stuck. They feel hopeless. They feel helpless in the relationship, especially toxic relationship. But you're not helpless. And you're not hopeless. I spent decades, probably a decade, a little over a decade in, two toxic, uh, you know, a uh, relationship. You can't say certain words on YouTube, but um, toxic relationships. Uh, and I beat myself up and I questioned myself and I doubted myself and I lost who I was because I was trying to hold on, trying to hold out, praying, hoping that, you know, people would change, that I could change them, that I could love them into being what I needed them to be. But the truth is people are who they are and you have to accept that whether or not who they are is good or bad for you. People are who they are, and you have to accept that. If you want to have peace, now if you don't, if you just want to go around and live in a charade and act like being is happy, and then, you know, eventually it's going to fall apart. Like, I, I did that for 10 years. <laughs> like, I did that. It doesn't work. So you could do it to protect your little, your little, your, your world that you try to protect, you know, because you feel like that's, you know, your area of control, you feel happy, and you want it to work so bad. But eventually it's going to fall apart. But there's power in accepting people for who they are. Again, it's not condoning their behavior that's toxic. It's not saying who you are is good or what you've done is good. That's not the same thing. 
Acceptance is accepting who someone is. This is who they are, good or bad. And based upon who I know they are, who they've shown me they are, who they've been over and over again, I'm going to decide how I want to be in this relationship or if I want to be in a relationship with this person I know. The power of acceptance. Y'all, I think this is going to be a book, like a short little ebook, because it's so powerful. And once you, you, you get that, that you are no longer allowing your emotions to control you, like, they have to love me because I love them. They have to be in my life because I want to be in their life. I can't live with them. Once you're over that, because, like, after a certain point, like, you can't force anybody. Like, there comes a point where you, there's nothing else you could do. People are going to do what they do, period. And you have to be okay with that. So the power of acceptance is just saying that I see who you are, I accept who you are, and based upon what I know about you, I'm going to move accordingly based upon what's best for me because I love me. So yeah, I hope that helps. Sorry for all the little miss, you know, blurbs and everything, but I hope that helped you. Like, share, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Uh, feel free to suggest some video ideas. I also help you with self-publishing, and I want to have more videos on. Um, about that coming soon and if you have a question about self-publishing or self-love healing i'm here for you i'm here for you join this community it's all about empowerment growing healing and just living your best life you know you deserve to live your best life you deserve to be you know the person that you want to be and you cannot fully be that when you're in a healthy relationship when you're not loving yourself when you're not being true and honest with yourself so be true with yourself be honest with yourself I love you. You're not alone. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep healing. And keep coming back to this channel and watching these videos. Watch again if you need to. Watch more videos. Um, and I love you guys. I will see you later.